Hey, it's Ryan with Parts Doctor, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the suspension rods on this Fisher & Paykel washer made of Phillips and flat blade screwdriver. Let's get started. When the washing machine is empty and the tub is sagging or sitting lower than normal, you may have bad washer suspension rods. When the suspension rods fail, they can cause the washer to get out of balance. If only one of the rods is bad, they're not sold individually. They're only sold as a set of four by the manufacturer. So you want to replace all four of them at the same time. To purchase a suspension rod kit, you can check out our website, partsdoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You want to make sure that you're searching with the model number from the tag on your washing machine to make sure you get the correct part. We find that it's easiest to replace each corner one at a time. For this repair, unplug or disconnect power to the washer. First, remove the lid by opening it, grasping on both sides, and pulling in an upward motion. Next, pop out these two plastic covers with a flat blade screwdriver. Then, remove the two Phillips screws. Now, grab the front of the top panel, lift up, and tilt back. You may need to secure the panel to ensure that it doesn't fall backwards. Then, remove the strap off of the suspension rod by grabbing it and lifting up. While working in this area, be careful as we will be working around some sharp edges. Next, with one hand firmly grasp the inside of the tub assembly near the rod you're removing, lift up on the tub, then with your other hand lift up on the rod hanger until it clears the cabinet. While supporting the suspension rod in one hand, and a flat blade screwdriver in the other, reach down inside the cabinet and press the red retainer to remove the rod from the outer tub. Now remove the rod assembly by lowering it down, then lifting up. To install the suspension rod, align the retainer to the mounting point on the outer tub, then lift up on the rod until it snaps in place. Then, grasp the inside of the tub, lift up, and set the rod hanger back on the washer cabinet. Now, reinstall the washer strap by aligning the holes and pressing in place. Next, remove your method of securing the top and tilt the top panel back down. Now, reinstall the Phillips screws. Then, reinstall the plastic covers. To install the lid, align the lid with the hinges and firmly press down until it snaps in place. Now with everything reconnected, plug the washer back in and test it out to make sure that everything's functioning properly. So that's it for this video. If you have any tips or tricks of your own, let us know in the comments below. And if you like fixing things, please consider subscribing.